I do, I do understand this. I do understand that if you and I are going to find wiggle room in that phrase, this is how we do it. None of us, but some other people who aren't listening right now. We're always concerned with how the listener is receiving what we're saying. That's our first concern. Well, I, well, uh, I can't believe you thought I said that. I can't believe you acted like that. I, I can't believe you responded that way. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. Anyone who does not keep a tight rein on their tongue, their religion is worthless. Don't you think it's time that we shift the focus? Don't you think that it's not about how the listener's receiving it? It's about how we're speaking. That if the fruit of our conversation, if the fruit of our words is not good, it's not their problem, it's ours. Too much? Too, too soon? Too quick? Too bottom line? Too cut to the chase? Too simple? Too direct? I don't know. Folks who walk around and say, well, I don't know why everybody takes it the wrong way. Well, maybe it's because you're saying it the wrong way. I don't know why people react the way they react. M maybe we have to examine what's coming out of our mouths. Maybe that is our first and only and primary responsibility. I'm not responsible for how it lands. I'm responsible for how it's said. I'm responsible for the fruit that's coming out of it. If the fruit's not good, I need to change something. I can't change the hearer. I can't change the response. I can only change me. I can only say it better with more love, with more grace. And, and, and is there anyone here, and that's the complaint in your home, you know, the problem is this person is just too nice, too kind, too thoughtful, too empathetic, too loving, too joyful, too compassionate. Our, our family is shattering because this person is too thoughtful. Amen? Amen. 